Wait, God of War on Android? Yes, you heard that right. In today's video, I'm showing you how God of War Lite runs on Android using WinLater version 2.8 with proper setup, optimized settings, and real gameplay. This isn't just a demo. This is a playable Lite version designed to work on mobile devices, even without a PC or console. I'll guide you step by step through the setup, performance tweaks, and controls so you can experience Kratos' brutal journey right from your smartphone. So make sure you watch till the end, because if you've ever wanted to play God of War on Android, this video is exactly what you've been waiting for. Credits to the channels who made this happen Nando Gaming Test BR, Real Meg 6T7, and D Dalu Simulator. First, Open WinLater Ladashi version 2.8 and allow the storage permission. WinLater will start installing its system files. Once that finishes, tap on the hamburger menu, go to settings, and set the box 64 preset to performance. Also, change FEX core to performance. Scroll down and set the cursor scale to 200%, then tap the check mark to apply your changes. To play the God of War Lite version smoothly on Android devices, you need to download a few content files. Go to Menu and click on Contents. From the drop-down, select DXVK and Download Version 2.4.1, Fix 1. Now, select Fexcore from the drop-down menu and install version 2601. Once that is done, tap on Adreno Tools Driver and import Turnip Driver version 26 Revision 8. Now, go back to the Container option and tap the plus icon to create a new container. Give it any name you want. For screen size, choose 960 by 544 or lower for better compatibility. Select the Wine version as Proton 9.0 ARM 64EC. Under Graphics Driver, tap on the Settings icon and select Driver version 26 Revision 8, which you imported earlier. Under Wrapper, select DXVK version 2.4.1, Fix 1. Scroll down and enable Show FPS and Stretch to Full Screen. Now, go to the Environment Variables tab. Tap on Add, and in the Name field, type dxvk underscore config underscore file. In the Value field, type z colon forward slash usr forward slash dxvk .sonf. Now go to the Advanced tab. Set Box 64 version to 0.3.7. Keep the Box 64 preset on Performance. Set FEX Core to 2601 from the drop-down menu. Set Startup Selection to Aggressive. Tap the check mark to finish creating the container. Press play to run the container. After it boots up, go to the D drive. This is a very important step to launch the game. Copy the DXVK config file, go to the Z drive, open the user folder, and paste the DXVK config file there. Now, launch the game exe file. Quick note, if you create a shortcut for the game, Make sure to apply the same changes we made in the environment variable and DXVK version to the shortcut settings as well. When the game's home screen appears, enable the controls and navigate to settings. Under graphics, set the preset to low. Go back and under display, you can adjust the FPS limit and turn off or lower the motion blur. Go back to the main menu, and you are all set to play. The game is running pretty well on my device. Without screen recording, I got around 30 to 40 FPS. I did not notice lag during gameplay, although the device did generate quite a bit of heat. So make sure to use a mobile cooler if you have one. So, that's the full setup and gameplay overview. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more guides like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. I'm leaving a short gameplay clip so you can see how well it performs.
found some. Get in the boat, boy. Still want me to tie it to the boat? <laughs> 